Where do you buy your PCs? Well, some people buy them new off of Dell's site or HP's site or anywhere really you can buy them. But some people put them together. <clears throat> I know one great site is Newegg.com. You can get all your parts there to put it together. So today I'm going to go ahead and unbox an Intel Core 2 Duo CPU for you. Um, <coughs> excuse me. This is a E7400. It was off Newegg.com. It's at 2.8 gigahertz. Um, I don't have the price in front of me at this time, but you can just go ahead and search for it on Newegg. And this will come up. This is not for me, but I get to unbox it, of course. So let's just go ahead and get started. Grab a scissors, cut this tape open. <coughs> okay, it's pretty simple. Just want to pop that open and slide it out. And you want to be very careful because these are very fragile. But these are pretty basic, of course. Here's your manual, I guess. It has the installation instructions, uh, three-year limited warranty, Intel Inside logo label, see back panel, of course, right here. If you would like to stick that over your old one, or if you don't have an old one, you'd just like to stick that on your case, that is the Intel Core 2 Duo Inside label, nice and shiny. I like them. Some people don't. <coughs> So, go ahead and show you this. This right here. Be very careful. I know they're a bit hard to get out. This is the actual processor. Don't break it. Or you'll be bumming. Okay? I'll go ahead and pop this open. Be very careful when you're taking these out. Try not to mess around with it. Of course, here you'll see all these fancy things. It's hard to see. Let me go ahead and zoom in for you guys if the remote's working. Yep. So here's all that fancy stuff. And on the back, it's just, well, some simple metal right here. <coughs> okay. Go ahead and put this back in here. Keep it nice and safe until you're ready to install it into the computer. Because if that breaks, you're not going to be in a good mood. I'll just say that. So next, they give you a nice big fan to cool it down. Some people do not need this. They already have one in the computer, and they'd prefer to use that one instead of this one. So this is, of course, optional, this heat sink and fan. But if you would like to use this one, of course, you'll use it with that. And it will have instructions on how to put everything together. But, of course, the cable in here, wrapped around, hard to find the end of, I guess. Okay, there we go. Just going to connect with your power. And, of course, it just says Intel right there. Got some model information. And back here, you can see the sharp metal. Be careful. You will cut yourself on this if you're messing around going, Ah, look at it! I can press my finger on this. And it won't be fun because you just cut yourself on a heat sink. And that's pretty pathetic to tell people when they ask, How'd you cut yourself? You say, I cut it on a computer heat sink because I was being an idiot. So, be careful when you're putting on all these parts, of course because it will not be good when you break them. Of course, now I'm not going to be able to get it back in the box, but that doesn't matter to me. Of course, I guess that's how you do it. There we go. That's simple. But of course, when you take yours out, you'll be putting it straight into the computer, not putting it back in the box like me. So, but I'll go ahead and just show you a quick, just basic manual just got all the fancy stuff like your user agreements, how to assemble. That's very useful if you've never done this before or if you just need a quick refreshment. Of course, it's got all that fun stuff in Chinese or I don't even know what language that is. I don't know. But if you're looking at this and you're watching my video, you obviously speak English, so it doesn't matter what language that is. So you know what? Just look at the English part. Unless you speak a different language and you'd like to put it in while reading that language, then be my guest. But of course, like I said, there's the nice shiny sticker on the back. I'm not going to take that off because then it'll be done with. But this is pretty basic. Like, when I put together something, odds are I won't use that. I might. But I 
put that in the box wrong, obviously. But basically, this is just a nice box, and it just does everything you need. This is, I want to say, a medium-ish. It's a dual core, so all of Apple's desktops, except their Mac Pros, use a dual core. So if you're comparing it to a PC, that might be useful. So my MacBook is a 2.1 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo, but the Intel Core 2 Duos are a very popular model, of course. And then there's the Core 2 Quads. I don't have an unboxing for that. I can do a review sometime soon. But there's no unboxing for that, of course. So this is the unboxing for the Intel Core 2 Duo. I believe I said a 2.80 gigahertz. It's got a 1,066 megahertz front side bus, LG A775 socket, um, 3 megabyte L2 cache. Pretty basic stuff. It's the E7400. This will be all be in the video description on YouTube if you're wondering. And of course, I'll put the price and a link if I can get one easily. But thanks for watching my unboxing, guys. Of course, comment, rate, and subscribe if you're watching this through YouTube or any other site that lets you do that. Um, of course, if you have any questions or comments, you can email me at jordan.claycott at gmail.com. That's jordan.klekot at gmail.com. Or Check me out on YouTube, of course, at the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash appledude25, that's all one word, appledude25, or the live stream and, of course, the chat room at ustream.tv slash channel slash jordan dash video dash live dash claycott dash live. I hope I haven't been saying video the whole time. I keep doing that. Um, I don't know why, of course, but mixing things up, but of course it's jordan-claycott-live, of course, don't do that, go to the YouTube channel, click the link, and subscribe while you're there, and just email me if you have any questions, but thanks for watching my unboxing, and I hope you liked it.